I'm Carleen Rose and welcome to our Knitty Yogi YouTube channel. Uh, today we'll be doing a stretching flow. So we will start with ankle to knee posts or a double pigeon. So we've got my left leg on the bottom, right leg's on top, ankles and knees are in line. Um, don't have to worry about if your knees are touching your feet. You can have a blanket there, you can have a block, you can have some space, whatever the case may be. Just make sure that your hips aren't rotating back and that you're sitting hunched or with both legs lifted, anything like that. Start with the long spine, inhale your belly, and your breathing diaphragm wide in all directions. Exhale, squeezing in and out, exhaling through your nose. Inhale here, exhale. Inhale last time, exhale. This time, inhale, reach up, exhale, hands come to heart center in namaste and twist to the right. Really maintaining that mula bandha breath, expanding your belly in all directions, even in this twist. Center. Inhale here, exhale, left hand reaches um, to the earth, right arm extends overhead. You can start to bend your left arm and really ground into the earth with your right hip. Make sure that doesn't lift and start to stretch your side body. Maintaining that mula bandha breath that whole time and using your breath to deepen your poses and deepen the stretch. Coming up, very nice. Now from here, we're gonna do kind of a, a more of a twist. So take either your hand, maybe your forearm, even your elbow and twisting in this pose. You can take hands back to heart center and namaste and really do the twist or you can have your hands down to the earth, but make sure that you're twisting, chest is facing towards the right. And last breath here. Now from here, facing forward, wave your spine long, and from here, folding yourself over to that first edge of stretch. Grounding into the earth with your sits bones. So you've got lots of space from the base of your spine all the way up to the crown of your head. You can even take tiny waves of the spine. And take that pose a little deeper. And last breath here, lifting yourself all the way in and up and switching sides. So right leg's on bottom now, left leg is on top, create some space for your feet. Inhale, wave the spine long and start activating that mula bandha breath just in case it went anywhere. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale last time, exhale, really maintaining that breath as you inhale up, exhale, hands come to heart center, namaste, and this time twist over to the left, really using your core and your side body muscles to do this twist. there coming back to center inhale up this time right arm reaches to the side and plants left arm extends overhead reaching over your ear you can start to bend your right elbow to whatever capacity of stretch you need but still making sure that you're grounding into the earth with your left hip and getting that full side body stretch Last couple of breaths here. And come.
coming back up to center. Now we're gonna try that twist again. So we're twisting towards the right side, um, hand, forearm, elbow, wherever you're comfortable with the twist today. Get that on the inside of your left foot, making sure that you're really twisting, chest is facing towards the right. Holding this twist for a couple of breaths, still using that Mula Bandha breath here. I know it's a little bit more difficult than a twist, but it's so good for you. It's great for all of your organs, like an inner body massage here. And gently release that. Now extending your spine long. Again, create space for your sits bones, really grounding into the earth waving your spine long and then coming forward to that edge of stretch. And we've been staying in this position for quite a while, so it should be opening up your hips, getting you some flexibility there, releasing tension. yourself back up. Now uncross your legs. Now from here, however you have to get into this position, I want you to come with your um, toes tucked underneath you. Uh, this way we can start stretching the bottoms of our feet while we do a little bit more breathing. So from here, we're sitting our feet. Inhale, we're going to do um, some cat cow, just mini cat cow with goddess arms. So inhale your arms or at 90 degree angle, extend just past your shoulders, starting to open up your chest and exhale. Inhale, reach your arms long and stretching your upper back. Inhale here, exhale, inhale, exhale, very nice. Couple more rounds here. Inhale, last time, exhale. Awesome job. Now coming to sit tall and exhale. Plant your fingertips in front of you. You can walk your legs back. You're going to come onto your belly. <sighs> Feels so nice. <laughs> Just relaxing on the floor. Now from here, take your right arm, extend it out uh, 90 degree angle. We're going to use, this one of my favorite stretches, to stretch out our sh the front of our shoulders, our chest, our pectoral muscles. So. You've got a right arm extended long. You're going to come onto your right side. Um, so resting on your right side, stretching your arm behind you. You've got your left hand planted in front of you for stability, but also you can use it to gently help open up that stretch if you need a little bit deeper of a stretch here. You can also take your left foot, your top leg, plant it behind you and let the weight of your knee dropping open up that stretch a little bit more as well. One last breath here. Awesome. Making your way back to your belly, to the center. Left arm reaches out, long perpendicular from you. And coming onto your left side. Might have to adjust a minute to get comfortable. Still having that length in your neck and your spine. Right hand is planted in front of you. This way you can create stability so you're not falling forward, but keeping lifted, keeping that stretch can help you control how deep you stretch into your left shoulder. And again, right foot can plant behind you this time and knee can start to open up if you need a bit deeper of a stretch here as well. Making your way back to center. Very nice from here. Planting your fingertips strongly. Inhale here, prepare. Roll yourself in and up. Come into a low cobra for just a moment. And stay on your knees. Exhale. 
exhale, coming back into child's pose. So you can have your knees together, you can have them wide, whatever is most comfortable for you today. Extending your fingertips out long. Gently walking yourself up to sit. Now from here, do a quick neck stretch. So sitting up tall, waving your spine nice and long, just drop your right ear to your right shoulder. You can even reach your fingertips to the floor if that creates more of a stretch for you. And play with rotating your head and neck one way and the other. Nice and slow though and controlled and figure out what areas of stretch you need. And when you find a place you need to stretch, hold it for a few breaths. And come back to center and the other side, dropping left ear to left shoulder. Again, reaching into the earth with your fingertips if that feels good for you. And starting to just rotate your head and neck around Find any areas of stretch pausing wherever you need and then coming back to center very nice and from here we're going to uh, make our way back into a seated position so start with Baddha Konasana so Feet are together, knees are folding open wide. Again, we're gonna let gravity do the work with our legs here. We're gonna ground into the earth with our sits bones. Long spine, and then fold yourself long over your legs. Making sure that you're still grounding into the earth with your hips. And finding that edge of stretch for you. Can you do many ways with your spine? Use your breath to deepen the stretch, keeping your spine long though. You can even rest your head um, you know, on your hands. You can feel it's good to take thumbs. Um, some, you can put it right on the inside of your, of your eyes here. That's the pressure point there. So it can like, if you get like headaches and stuff, that can sometimes help. Or just above the bridge of your nose, start tapping into your third eye chakra, your pituitary gland. And sometimes it can just be nice to not be holding your head up with your neck, just letting your neck totally relax and you're holding up your head with your hands. Awesome. Walking yourself back up to center. Now from here, bring your legs together, extend them out long in front of you. We'll start with slightly bent knees. Um, as we do our forward fold, we don't want to have our legs stretch too much too soon. So we'll start with bent knees. It's nice to start with your fingertips behind you, grounding into the earth with your sits bone, creating that length in your spine, waving tall. And then again, folding yourself forward. So keeping that length, walking yourself forward, and then finding where that knee stretch can be. Maybe your knees have to be super bent, maybe they can be close to the earth, whatever the case may be. Start folding yourself over your legs into that forward fold. Again, keeping that mula bunder breath. So even while we're really just doing some yoga stretches, that Mula Bandha breath is helping us activate our deep core line. So using all of our stabilizer muscles. As well as helping us deepen our poses by using our breath, using that waving motion to see if we can go just a, just a tad. You don't wanna stretch yourself too much too fast. So use that wave to kind of see if that edge of stretch moves at all and keeping a really fluid stretching practice. Let's 
from here, walking yourself back up, coming onto your back now, hug your knees into your chest. Circle them one way and then the other. Planting your feet out in front of you for just a moment. Um, take the heels of your hands, get them right up here where your hips and, and legs meet, your femurs, and just press gently, press your legs gently away from you, getting like a bit of traction in your low spine. And then from here, extending all the way out into your Shavasana. Sometimes it can feel good to just do some stretching. Um, you know, if you're needing to kind of just work out some tension in your muscles. Also, you want to make sure that you're stretching anytime that you're doing um, like strength training, uh, which is one of the reasons why yoga is so great because you can kind of intertwine the two. Um, but if you're doing some like hardcore strength, strength strength training, you definitely want to make sure that you stretch. You're helping to rebuild your muscle fibers um, longer and more lean instead of having them be bunched up and tight. So stretching is great. Love to do some stretching flows every once in a while. So I hope you enjoyed that. I definitely look forward to seeing you on the mat again. Make sure that you're on the YouTube channel. That way you get notifications before you get the new videos, uh, as well as the League of Nerdy Yogis email list, because that will have exclusive content for you. Namaste.